Hi, I have got a great decodable shortcut to show you. Before we get going on that, let's just kind of quickly review um, our model for how the data is going to move. Typically, we have an, a source connector is where we're going, but for this demonstration, we'll be using a data gen connector. Then we stream to a pipeline where we can do um, lots of manipulation on the data. And then from there, we're going to stream to an sync connector. That's going to be our output that we're going to be doing. So with no further ado, let's get into the interface and do that. All right, I've already got it open on the connectors um, page. Now, we could have just gone ahead and followed these tabs right here and created um, our pipeline streams and connectors and then put them together. But it's um, I'm going to be showing you the easy way of doing that. And we're going to start with the data gen connector. OK, so the data gen connector, um, just like it's named, is for um, generating sample data. I'm going to go ahead and start it up. You'll see that it's already um, set up to output to the stream here that we want to go from. So we can just um, click on that to see what we're doing. And boom, we get a nice view of the data. Now this is the data we're going to parse out the parts of this that we want in the next step. But notice we don't have an output yet. Easy. We'll click here and say create pipeline. And that takes us to the SQL screen um, for creating that pipeline. Now, um, we can see where the data is coming from. That's already taken care of here. It says from, and this is our input stream. Now, notice it's put this number together for us for an output stream. And in most cases, you're not going to want to accept this default. You might want to, but we're going to go ahead um, and borrow some code from the quick start guide. And only two things different going on here. One is we've specified a different stream that we want to write it out to. And then we are also um, um, doing our work to, to clean up the data the way we'd like it to be. Now you'll notice I clicked this button over here that said run preview. And here we have a preview. And this is the two fields that we want our data in going forward. It's been all cleaned up and it's ready to use. So I can go ahead and say next. And then it says, let's configure the output stream. Notice. It's pulled that name right out of the SQL code, so we don't have to worry about that one at all. And I think all we need to do is give this some kind of a description. So let's do that. Oops, wrong field. Here we go. That's pretty descriptive to tell it what it's going to do. And then we say create stream. Notice this bar is now grayed out, little check mark. It's created the stream for us, just that easy. Then we can say next. And we haven't gotten around to naming this pipeline yet, so we'll need to do that. So we'll give it a really um, descriptive name. How about demo pipeline? And we should say what it is that it does. So let's do that. and go ahead and say create pipeline. And I'm also going to go ahead and start it. And I'm going to move on to the next step so that um, we can keep this rolling. And we'll come back and take a look at these metrics once we've got it started. All right, so where are we outputting to that stream that we just created? That makes sense. 
but we're not syncing it to anything yet. So that's going to be the last step in what we're trying to do here. So we'll click on that. We could go out to another pipeline, but we're going to sync it. So you'll notice on connector type, it already says syncs. But what I'm going to do here is um, just show you this real quick. We could say all connectors or sources, but we just want syncs. And in fact, we want the Kafka sync. That's the one that we're going to do. Depending upon which sync you pick, there'll obviously be um, configuration you need to put in. So um, we'll just put in some very basic, like a broker list and something for a topic name. And then say next. Notice it's already connected up to the correct stream with this little check mark. And we can just say next. And it's inferred the schema that we defined earlier back with the pipeline. And we can say next on that too. Now it does need to have a name. So let's do that. And not super descriptive this time around, but there we go. And say, create connection. All right, we have now built all the pieces of this. And of course, the last thing we do is start it. But remember, I promised you we'd go back and take a look at the pipeline, but look how quick and easy we can do that. Back one step, back one more step, now we're looking at the pipeline and we can take a look at those metrics. So I hope you found this um, useful to see how quick and easy um, we can just um, define up one of these just by clicking on the next one. And um, I'll see you in our next video.